What's going on guys, it's Ali, welcome to Scale Addiction. In today's video, I will bring back my Ford Mustang drift car and I have a problem with this because the rims are resin 3D printed and it always break either there or from the rim itself because it's very thin and with resin printing it will be very fragile and it break very easily but I like the design that's why I didn't want to make it thicker either it breaks here or from the hub just like this one so the solution for that either you have to 3d print it with fdm printing and use pla or pla plus then it will be a bit flexible but here i don't like the surface area because you have to sand it a lot and then paint it it's not gonna come out very good but with resin printing it's really good always but it breaks like this the rims on this car are specially designed for this car because it's a 3D printed body and it's wider from the back than the front. That's why I had to put offset 3 millimeter to the back and one I think to the front. So that's why I couldn't find a rim like this and I like it to be my own design. That's why I have to always 3D print my own design. And this car is a bit heavier because it's 3D printed body and only the body I think is 400 grams and it's not Lexan. With Lexan you won't have that problem but with this one the car is a bit heavier and I always run it on. 3s so i have more runtime but usually people running it on 2s but for now i have only 3s and with that extra weight i will have problems with the rim so that's where it gets to our sponsor of the video jlc 3dp offering 3d printing and other services just like they mentioned here but we only need 3d printing here they also have cnc machining ps pcb and all these stuff so if you have a custom design and you have your own project and you want to print it in specific material and you can get it with a domestic 3d printers here's the place you can go it's very easy you just have to open the website and import your file and it will tell you the price and shipping date jlc 3dp's website will be in the video description box of this video thanks for jlc 3dp for sponsoring this video let's open the box and see what we have so with this one i had to do something different that we can't do with our 3d printers with the tires, I 3D printed them in PLA so we can see the difference between our PLA and their PLA. There are the tires. And with the rims, it's uh, still 3D printed so it's gonna last forever. With the tire, because it's FDM 3D printed, we always have this seam, which I always had with these ones as well. So I will only file it and then apply some heat so it will be one same color. All right, now we're gonna put the tire on the rim and we can apply some glue here, but for now we don't need that. So if you're wondering how much the wheel and the tire weighs, so I had to remove it and it weighs about 97.7 grams, while the resin 3D printed is 26.5 grams. So almost four times heavier than this one. So with the resin 3D printed rims, I didn't have any problem when I was driving inside because all the surfaces are even here. But when I'm going outside and the surface is not even, and it will hit the rim and break it. But now we're not gonna have that problem anymore.
So I'm not a professional drifter, but I know it makes a big change when the tire is heavy. But for me, I like it because it was giving me a long sliding. So everything I use will be in the video description box below, including the body and the wheels as well. Hope you guys enjoying the project. If you did, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.